Hello. Uh, in previous tutorial, uh, we have learned how to use this uh, configuration, the priority and the blending to uh, change between the standing animation and uh, simple working animation. Okay. But in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use this uh, setup, this option layer to mix two animation at the same time. Okay, so we have what we do, what we did in the last tutorial, a simple uh, character with a simple working animation. Okay, I'm going to set the default cube invisible. Okay, and that's what we got in the last tutorial. Okay, now I want to, what I want to do to show the layer option is make our character work uh, while he's shaking his hand. Okay, so first I'm going to make the animation, uh, uh, the shaking hand animation. So I go to the NLA editor and I'm going to do a new animation. Okay. Okay, uh, we have here the last animation, the working animation. And what I what we have to do is to close this animation, clicking here. And uh, I can, okay, I can delay this one. Okay. Uh -huh. Here we go. I'm going to check if everything is working working well until now. Okay, I have my work animation. Okay, so I go to uh, first frame and I'm going to do a simple animation about a shaking hand, a shaking hand animation. I'm going to go to properties, skeleton, x-ray to see my bones. Okay, I'm going to go back to an LA now here. Let's start. First frame, I'm going to do something like this. Post mode. And I move my arm. No, my arm. His arm. Medium point. If I push, uh, I have the option, the 3D point cursor. Th 3D cursor, so the arm is rotating around the uh, no, no, no. Okay, forget it. I'm going to move the arm like this and like this, more or less. It's doing something funny because the skinning of this character is really bad. Okay, but I don't care for now. It's just to show what I want to do. And I'm going to do, to do something like this. I'm going to select the bones of the arm, only the shoulder, the upper arm and the forearm and hand. I'm going to select this and push I lock rod. And I insert with this action, I insert a keyframe. Okay. I'm going to go to, for example, uh, frame 20. And I'm going to do this. Okay, select the same three bones, the bones of the left arm, arm and shoulder and hand, and again, I lock rod. Okay, so I have this little animation, shaking my hand, okay? Shaking his hand. So I finish the animation, clicking here, and I have this one. I'm going to go to Dop Sheet, Editor, and I'm going to call it Action Editor, Armature Action. I'm going to call it Shaking, Shaking Hand. Okay. Okay. If now I push P, I go out from post mode and I push P. My character is just working, okay? I want 
to use the shaking hand animation at the same time that my character is working when I push space, for example. So I add a K-bar sensor with the space bar key option and then controller joining this and a action actuator. My shaking hand action start at frame one a end and frame 20. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's, what happened. If I push P, I push, push a space. What you see is uh, the my character stop walking and start shaking hand. But this is not what I want. I want the two actions at the same time. Okay. What I want to do, what I want, what I need to do, is a uh, uh, playing to change the layer option okay and you have to understand layer in the same way that uh, layer works in photoshop or gimp or this kind of uh, image program okay it's uh, a layer over uh, the last layer so the layer on the top is uh, overriding the layer below below the the last layer okay Sorry, but you are going to understand now because I'm going to uh, put this working animation in the layer 0 and this one in the layer 1. So this action is over this action. Okay, let's go. What hap let let's see what's happened now. P, I push a W to walk and I push a space. I can see how my character is shaking the hand while he's working, as you see. Okay, let's go to see to do something more. I'm going to do a loop a stop, and I'm going to use the blending to five here. Let's see what happened now. Uh huh. While I'm pressing the space. My character is shaking the hand. If I stop pressing the arm, return to the work animation. Because the shaking hand animation is in a layer over the working animation. So have a priority over the bones. If I push a space, the action uh, that control the bones are the shaking hand actions, okay? Like now. If I stop pushing a space, the working animation return control over these bones. Okay, that's the way the layers works over actions and armatures. Okay, that's all. That's a, this is a short tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you can enjoy the tutorial. I hope you can understand me English.